Shout out to Jim, Janez, and Audrey Good Batten for subscribing to the channel. If you guys want to shout out in the next video in front of over 3,500 people, then just subscribe to the channel and you could get shouted out in the next video. Also, like the video and turn the notification bell to all, and then you get shout out in the next video. But today, we're going to be talking about the, all the NBA players right now from Gonzaga University. So there are six players currently kind of seven but six really that we will be talking about so first one is nba all-star demontis sabonis he played at gonzaga for two seasons coming from lithuania's dad arvita sabonis was in the nba is a basketball hall of famer uh played for the portland trailblazers and sabonis demontis sabonis Place for the Indiana Pacers is a two-time All-Star and won the NBA Skills Challenge this year, actually, after coming runner-up last year. So he's a very good NBA player that he might be on the move pretty soon. But at Gonzaga, he was a dominant force. He played power forward there, plays power forward in the NBA as well, next to Miles Turner. In college, he played next to Shimmick Karnowski. So very similar type of deal where he's got a very good center next to him and I think that he could make many more all-star teams in years to come. So very good way to start it off. I'm going, in my opinion, from best to worst. So best player is Domantas Sabonis. Next up, we have defending Eastern Conference champion Kelly Olynyk. So he was on that Miami Heat team last season that went to the NBA Finals. Uh, he's now on the Houston Rockets. He's on the Houston Rockets. He was part of the Victor Oladipo trade. And he had one of the best seasons, if not the best season of his career. Mainly with the Houston Rockets, it was the best part of his entire career. Where he averaged like 16 points a game. He averaged some incredible, incredible numbers with the Rockets this year. And that's why I have him at number two. I wouldn't have had him at number two at the beginning of the season. But just because of how well he's played for the Rockets. Hey, he's going to get another big, big contract. Because his... Heat contract, people were saying was too much. Look out, because he's about to get another one. Uh, he got a big contract back in the day from the, when he was on the Celtics. The Heat gave him one. So he's going to get another one of those. So this is the player I would have had at number two at the beginning of the season, but I have him at number three. And that's Rui Hachimura out of Japan. So Rui Hachimura, he played for Gonzaga for three seasons, I believe. Two, three seasons. Uh, he had a redshirt year, so I think he played two seasons and had one redshirt year. And I remember during his redshirt year, uh, he played a little bit, but he couldn't even speak English. So he was just like would play, he probably played three, four, five games in like garbage time. And he gets on the floor, grabs a rebound, runs from one end to the other, and dunks it through traffic. And I was like, oh man, this dude's going to be good. But and he he was good. He just didn't play his rookie or his freshman season because he couldn't even speak English yet. So a very very good player has had a pretty good start to his NBA career. Has to share the court with Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal though. So there's only one ball to go around, but he's done good with what he's had to deal with. Uh, and yeah, that's why he's number three. Number four, we have a dude in the same class as him, and that's Memphis Grizzlies, Brandon Clark. So Brandon Clark has had a pretty good year, um, pretty similar to last year. He's averaging pretty similar numbers to Rui. Um, and I don't know, he's averaging what, like 16, 8? I don't know what he's averaging. But uh, in the playoffs, he hasn't even played, I don't think, yet. So he's been his numbers have really been cut down in the playoffs, and that's due to how well Kyle Anderson has played and the return of jaron jackson jr so he just hasn't got as much time this year that's why he's at number three he's averaging 10 points a game this year uh i mean that's why he's at number four can't quite give him that number three spot but if he got some more minutes then he definitely could but also this dude could pass him up and that's portland trailblazer zach collins at number five he gets number five just because he hasn't even played this year yet he's been injured all year long and uh, that's why he's at this ranking. He'd maybe be ahead of Brandon Clark. 
probably would be, but he is not at the moment uh, just because of injury. Uh, is he? Yeah, he's out for season. Out for season with an ankle injury. Uh, power forward slash center for the Trailblazers. Averaged seven points a game last year. Got drafted very high. I believe that he was a ninth pick. No, tenth pick. And just hasn't totally panned out. But he's also only played three seasons. This would be his fourth. But hey, the same class as this dude was a freshman at Gonzaga. Same time as this dude. Except Zach Collins is one and, one and done. This dude played five years. And it's rookie Memphis Grizzlies player Killian Tilly. So, Killian Tilly, uh, he he was injured for most of the year, like more than half of the year. He comes in at the final player, sixth player. Uh, there will be one player after him, but it doesn't really count. Killian Tilly was hurt for most of the season, played 18 games in the season, though, and he started one. Sorry if my voice is starting to, like, crack and stuff. I try to make it through this entire video, but uh, I have a really sore throat, and I'm just doing my best. He averaged three and a half points a game in 18 games with one start somehow uh so he's been very good on a two-way contract with the grizzlies for a two-way guy pretty dang good uh hopefully he sticks around in the league and this wasn't just a one and done type of deal now the one player i said kind of is chicago bulls zach norvell jr he got signed and played for him in the preseason but he did not end up uh playing at all in the regular season so i didn't really count him but i just wanted to show him at the end because he technically got signed to the Chicago Bulls and he played in the preseason. Uh, so I didn't totally count him. I would say six NBA players from Gonzaga have, or six Gonzaga players have played in the NBA this season. But Zach Norvell is a close seventh. So I just had to include him just because of that circumstance. And I think that he will definitely get another shot in the NBA because he just hasn't had a ton of time. And he played pretty well for the 10 day contract where he actually did get some minutes for the Golden State Warriors. And we saw him on the Lakers breaking Jordan Poole's ankles twice and getting and ones and stuff. So, yeah, I think he'll definitely get another shot in the NBA. Hopefully next season he will. We'll have to see about that. But that is it for the video, guys. Uh, let me know who you think out of Gonzaga players should be signed, whether it's David Stockton, who's on the Memphis Hustle, the G League team, uh, whether it's Kyle Wilcher, Kevin Pang Pangos, oh my gosh, I can barely even speak. Uh, Kevin Pangos, Jonathan Williams, Zach Norvell, Nigel Williams, Goss, any of these guys, Ryan Woolridge, who are not in, currently in the NBA, Josh Perkins, that you believe should be, Jeremy Pargo, <laughs> that is it. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notification bells to all, and I will see you guys in the next upload. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Uh